Hi, this is Nick in 3 wg and I'm going to give a quick demo of a new project I've been working on called EtherPig. Uh, it's, a, um, it's a Mac app to do full remote control of an amateur radio station from your iPad or iPhone. Uh, it's very similar to Pigtail except you leave your radio at home. So let's take a first a quick look at um, what I have on the table here. So I have a K3, that's a MacBook Pro, a KX3, uh, both of those, or both the radios, are plugged into these dummy loads here. And if we come around back, um, the we have a serial port here that's plugged into the Mac. Uh, it's plugged into the KX3, or I'm sorry, the K3. And plugged into the Mac, I have this uh, Griffin iMic. And then I have the uh, the connections going to the back of the radio here for audio. And off on the side here I have the iPad, and this cell phone here is actually running a 4G hotspot. Uh, so the laptop, I'm sorry, the iPad is connected to the cell phone as a tether. Uh, so the, the MacBook and the iPad are not on the same network right now. Uh, so if we were to uh, break all these things up, uh, this station here, the K3, is at home. The KX3 is some amateur radio operator somewhere in the world, so that's just a remote transceiver. And then the iPad is used somewhere in the world. And uh, I'm going to be pausing the video here and there um, so I can sort of cut it all together. Um, so if you see it jump, that's why. Alright, let's take a look at the Mac app first. So I'm going to open up the app here on my desktop, etherpig.app. Um, this is just a, a mock-up. It's not really going to look like this. Um, for example, there'll be a username and password field in there. Alright, so I'm going to select my serial port, which is this key serial 1. It's a trip light uh, key span serial adapter. And hit start. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, and what that just did was it created two things. One was a VoIP client, as well as a uh, that's voice over IP client, as well as a, uh, a TCP to serial bridge. Uh, it's all built into the app. So um, there's no need for Skype to use Skype for this. Uh, it's all built into both this app as well as Hamlog on the iPad. And next we're going to take a look at the iPad. So over here I'm going to open up Hamlog. And I'm going to go to Tools, Etherpig. And up top is the same as it was before in Pigtail. Uh, you select your radio type. Um, we have remote IP, so this is actually your home IP address. Uh, so the there is some uh, some port forwarding that has to be done, uh, not for the voice, just for the um, the pigtail functionality. Uh, so you put that in here. I have it uh, secured right now, just because this is going to be on YouTube. Uh, your call and your password. So this is actually what you register to the uh, or what's used to register to the the VoIP server out on the internet. So let's hit connect. Uh, so you can faintly hear the static there. Uh, it uh, it suppresses static a bit uh, whenever it's playing. All right, let's go back and add a contact. So the audio is running all the time. It's running right now. Now, uh, for example, if I hit the key on the KX3, that audio is coming out of the iPad right now. Uh, so it's being received by the K3, sent through the MacBook, over the internet to the iPad. All right, let's add a contact. So mode and frequency showed up right there. That came from the K3. And we take a look at the Etherpig app. You can see the actual commands that are going back and forth uh, between the iPad and the serial port. And let's open up Pigtail. Now, so all these buttons uh, work just as if you were using an actual Pigtail. If I can go to six meters there. And it went down to 6 meters, or up to 6 meters, rather. Alright, let's go back down to 20. So, I'm um, sending CW. Imagine this is our remote station again. This is our ham somewhere in the world. And he hits the key. Or he sends a message. Uh, so that's audio reception, but so now let's talk about transmit. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the K3 in transmit. I'm going to talk to my iPad, and it's going to be transmitted via the K3 and received by the KX3. So uh, first thing we need to do is get on USB. You heard the, uh, the audio change over there. And USB over here. And let's turn up the volume. All right. Now, if I transmit right now, we're going to get a whole bunch of feedback. Um, so I'll just uh, tap it on and off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the camera here. I'm going to go in the bedroom with my cell phone. And I'm going to key the radio and talk to it. And uh, the camera should pick up the reception on the KX3. So that's a quick overview of Etherpig. Um, uh, once again, it's a, it's a Mac app. I do hope to have a Windows app soon. Um, no need for Skype, full bi-directional audio um, built into the iPad. And the same radio control that you have now. Um, I've only tested it with Elecraft radios. Uh, actually, only this K3. Um, but it should work with any other radio. You can interface um, audio in and out. And, uh, and get the PTT working. So um, there's a lot of testing to do and I need to clean up the Mac app quite a bit. But uh, all the functionality is there. So uh, about three or four weeks I should have something ready to go. I do have some testers lined up so I need to get it out to them first and then uh, stay tuned. Oh, Also um, I'll probably be putting updates on etherpig.com. Oh, it'll also be on the pignology.net website. So take a look for it.